Lots of folks out all over the place, downtown Pittsburgh, Kennywood, uh, various municipalities and neighborhoods. And what a beautiful 4th of July, right? Yeah, it was really nice. I was outside with the kiddie pool and just yeah. kind of relaxed. Crazy how great it was until today, Yeah, which is okay because the holiday weekend's over. But we do have this huge crowd yeah. hoping to watch some baseball tonight at PNC. Mm -hmm. I think they're going to luck out tonight. Yeah. The next really big chance for any isolated showers and storms, it's going to be later on overnight. So clouds are keeping things a little more stable today. We're at 82 degrees. It's muggy. We have those winds out of the southwest about 10 to 15 miles per hour. So it's breezy and that's pumping in that warm warm air and moisture, but the severe weather threat for today has diminished. That's why we called off the first alert weather day earlier this afternoon. 79 right now in Butler, mostly cloudy, 81 in Beaver, 80 Newcastle, cloudy skies, 79 in Franklin. We've seen a peak or two of sunshine. Our dew points though, they're into the mid to upper 60s, even low 70s for some, and that's when it feels tropical and oppressive and the humidity. It's not going anywhere for the next couple of days. A lot of the wind gusts have also so diminished. We still have some gusts at about 25 miles per hour along the ridges, but mostly just breezy through this evening. Our radar is quiet, so if you are headed to the Pirates game, it's looking good. The best chance will be later on this evening at about 10 11 o'clock just for an isolated shower to roll by. Mostly cloudy right now. If you are planning to take your dog for a walk, this is Bella, courtesy of Cynthia. Love German Shepherds. We're going to see the chance for showers and storms again right at about 10 11 o'clock. So maybe just go out seven to nine looks better that way. And then as you're headed to the Big Butler Fair the next couple of days, just keep the umbrella close by. Scattered showers and storms will be around. There's going to be dry time you'll be able to enjoy, but the heat and humidity will be sticking around. It's going to feel very similar to what it felt like today. So looking at our muggy meter, we do catch a break from the humidity just in time for the weekend. It'll drop off by Saturday and into Sunday. Plus, we're going to have a lot of sunshine and we hold on to the 80s. So it'll be great to be by the pool. Looking at our future cast, let's time out these isolated showers. Most of these are tracking to the south and off to the east overnight, and then we'll get some breaks and some dry time tomorrow into the afternoon. By Wednesday night, another round of some scattered showers and storms are possible. But again, most of these are tracking to the south and east south of I-70. By Thursday, we have another chance for some showers and storms. We'll see a good bit of sunshine, but that could also help to fuel those storms through the day on Thursday. Tonight, temperatures right around 70 degrees, still mild and muggy. Again, a stray storm can't be ruled out. 84 degrees tomorrow with some scattered showers and storms, but we will get some breaks and some dry time. You'll be able to enjoy all the way through Friday, but then it gets even better for the weekend where we don't have to worry about rain at all. So our seven day forecast low to mid 80s, very seasonable, but it'll feel into the mid to upper 80s with that humidity. 82 Saturday comfortable 83 Sunday, plenty of sunshine around by Monday. We're in the mid 80s, mostly sunny, and then the next chance for a few showers return on Tuesday with high staying in the low 80s.